This is Mark Herzog, President and CEO of Holy Family Memorial. As Holy Family Memorial celebrates 115 years of service to the Lakeshore community, I would like to thank our employees, physicians, providers, and volunteers for the part you have played in providing inspired caring to the citizens of Manitowoc County and the region. Holy Family Memorial is proud of its ongoing contribution to excellence in the quality of life found here in the Lakeshore. At the end of the 19th century, Manitowoc was a bustling maritime town with three successful shipbuilding companies. Its port was second only to Milwaukee in tonnage carried, and railroads transported wheat to Manitowoc, where it was shipped to the East Coast. But they were without a hospital. Several citizens approached the Franciscan Sisters of Christian Charity to build a facility to meet the health needs of the growing community. Even though the sisters were already in debt, Superior General Mother Alexia Fulmer realized what must be done to care for the community and made the decision to proceed. She wrote at the time, Under such trying circumstances, it was evident that human means were not to be the foundation of the edifice in question. No, it was to rest upon a foundation more solid and more secure than earthly goods. Trust in divine providence. In fact, our current Providence Fund, designed to help those in need, was named in honor of Mother Alexia and her great trust in the providence of God. But despite her faith, there was a slight problem. There were no resources to build a new hospital. Undaunted, the sisters rallied the town to raise both money and enthusiasm for the new hospital. On September 28, 1899, Holy Family Hospital opened its doors for the first time to a grand celebration of their labor of love. An innovative caregiver even back then, the facility was called the most modern hospital in Wisconsin, with a perfect system of ventilation, lighted by electricity, equipped with a large passenger elevator, the first in the area, electric bells, and many more modern conveniences. The sisters cleaned, cooked, and grew vegetables while caring for a growing body of patients. At the time, people across the nation were afraid to come to hospitals out of fear of the unknown. The Christian compassion, hospitality, and kindness of the sisters quickly engaged the town and changed this perception. The hospital flourished. The Holy Family Hospital School of Nursing opened its doors on October 4, 1920. The first graduating class consisted of eight women drawn together in a bond of inspired caring. These individuals and those that followed were forever connected by their desire to serve others through nursing. Holy Family Hospital's first volunteer group was established in 1925. The dedication of these early volunteers was most evident by their motto, vision to see conditions as they are imagination to picture conditions as they might be, ability to help make conditions what they ought to be. Life revolved around war during this era, here at home as well as overseas. 38 of our graduate nurses served in the armed forces around the world. In 1944, a nurse cadet program was established at Holy Family Hospital to train nurses for the armed forces, civilian health agencies, and war industries. Also at this time, few diseases frightened people as much as polio, when it reached epidemic proportions. More than ever, our nurses focused on inspired caring to attend to the emotional and spiritual needs of patients as well as physical. Fortunately, Holy Family invested in an iron lung in 1940, which maintained respiration artificially until a person could breathe independently, usually after one or two weeks. In the late 1940s, Manitowoc was focusing on economic growth, but the baby boom was keeping the nursery at Holy Family busy. A new pediatric unit was needed, and thanks to the RAR Malting Company, the hospital was able to build a unit dedicated specifically to the care of children. Yeah. 
Manitowoc County continued to thrive, and in 1947, a group of 37 people met who were interested in building a new hospital as a living memorial for all veterans of the county. After much planning, their dream was to come to fruition. Manitowoc Memorial Hospital opened its doors in 1953, and it was to become an integral part of the inspired history of Holy Family Memorial. The School of Nursing continued to be on the leading edge. They were fully accredited in 1951 by the National Nursing Accrediting Service, the first three-year program in the state to achieve this honor. Holy Family Hospital also continued its history of innovation during this time, with the launching of many new services designed to continue to ensure quality care for our community. Additions or expansions included an orthopedic unit, recovery room, emergency department, radiology, pharmacy, cafeteria, medical records, and more. Beginnings and endings mark the 1970s. No longer able to be used for patient care, most of the 1898 building was demolished. The School of Nursing graduated its last class in 1976, and Holy Family made a heart-wrenching decision to give its nursing home license to St. Mary's Home for the Aged in Manitowoc. But new beginnings abounded. In addition to continued growth and expansion, the sisters expanded the hospital's board of directors to include community members. Rural health clinics were opened in Reedsville and St. Nazian's to ensure access. And as Holy Family continued to grow beyond its four walls on Western Avenue, the hospital changed its name to Holy Family Medical Center. The 1990s began with a bold start. Holy Family Medical Center and Manitowoc Memorial Hospital announced that they were pursuing a merger. It became effective on May 1, 1991, and the name of the new entity was Holy Family Memorial to honor the inspired history of both organizations. Later that decade, the Cancer Care Center opened as part of an expansion project that also included the Short Stay Surgery Center. Our health network started growing as we joined forces with area independent clinics and physicians. Woodland Clinic became the first physician clinic to join the network, followed by Park Medical Center, Manitowoc Family Practice, Lakeshore Urology, and many more. Nineteen ninety nine, a monumental year for Holy Family Memorial as we celebrated a century of caring. Many of you were here at that time, when much celebration was planned, so our HFM community could reflect on and rejoice in 100 years of caring. In fact, many of the photos and information used in this presentation were taken from a special commemorative booklet created to celebrate our innovative and inspired history. While the world was anxiously watching to see what the new millennium would bring, Holy Family Memorial was busy planning its own future to meet the ever-changing needs of healthcare. In 2005, our Harbortown campus opened, a revolutionary health concept designed to enhance patient flow, access, care, and quality. Additionally, Medical Center embarked on a major expansion to add our newest wing at Western Avenue, including the Heart and Vascular Center, Atrium, and a welcoming reception area. In 2013, we celebrate the year of inspired caring. This is nothing new at HFM. It has been around since the 19th century, when the Franciscan Sisters of Christian Charity decided to build Holy Family Hospital. It's a dedication, a commitment that was inside them and is inside all of us today. It's what drew us into healthcare from the beginning and inspires us to work every day to provide that exceptional experience for the patients we serve. You may recall that we kicked off the year of inspired caring with a program called HFM Rocks. So human and flawed, I 
break down even though I'm still strong In time, we'll make fools of us all Build us up and then laughs when we fall You pull me through When I'm alone in the dark and the fear is my truth And so, we've come full circle. The Franciscan sisters originally committed themselves to this hospital because there was a need. The motivation for our continuing commitment to health care was eloquently stated by Mother Agna during a 1960 edition. She was asked, what could be the reason for that huge of a commitment to health care? She responded simply, there is only one answer, for the glory of God and the service of suffering humanity. May this be your inspiration too, as we continue our journey of inspired caring through the decades. <laughs>